Hello and welcome to everyone watching the Written and Melanin channel. Wherever this day may have found you, I am glad that you're here. My name is Chelsea, also known as CM Lockhart, and I'm here to bring some melanin to your pages. This is the series on the channel called The Melanin Spotlight. And like everything related to Written and Melanin Publishing, it's designed to make you guys aware of some amazing books written by Black authors that you may or may not already know about. These are books by all types of published authors. Some I've read, others I haven't, but all of them are worth giving a look and a chance. The books in this video feature children's books with black characters and written by black authors. If you haven't already, be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos on the channel. All right, let's get into this. The first book on the list is Knucklehead Fred by Arius Williams. Knucklehead Fred is a whimsical rhyming story about a fun-loving, energetic boy named Fred. His parents just can't figure out how to make him sit still and listen. But when Fred finds himself in need of a favor, mom and dad use it as a perfect opportunity to teach him a thing or two about responsibility. Next on the list is Hair Like Mine by Latasia Perry. Hair Like Mine is the first release from the Kids Like Mine collection and is a fun and easy read following a little girl who doesn't like that her naturally curly hair looks different from the other kids around her. On her quest to find someone with hair like hers, she soon realizes we are all unique and special in our own way. The third book on this list is My Grandma is a Lady by Jaleesa Pollard. My Grandma is a Lady is about a young African-American girl that chronicles her memories of her grandmother's participation and membership in the Ladies Auxiliary of the Knights of Peter Claver, a historically black lay organization of Catholics. Representation matters. This story resonates with many children of the Catholic faith worldwide. Entry number four on this list is Black Boy, Black Boy by Crown Shepherd. Black boy, black boy, what do you see? I see a bright future ahead of me. A melodic mantra with a powerful message. Black boys can be a doctor, a judge, the president, anything they wanna be. Each page depicts a boy looking into the future, seeing his grown up self and admiring the greatness reflected back at him. This book is created to teach black boys there are no barriers. If you can dream it, you can be it. This book is for black boys so they see themselves as the heroes of the story. This book is for black boys so the repetitive patterns help them learn to read. This book is for black boys so it will become a subconscious mantra. The things you say to kids become what they think, and black boys can be anything. Entry number five on this list is Crown, an O to the Fresh Cut by Derek Barnes. The barber shop is where the magic happens. Boys go in as lumps of clay and with princely robes draped around their shoulders, a dab of cool shaving cream on their foreheads and a slow steady cut, they become royalty. That crisp yet subtle line makes boys sharper, more visible, more aware of every great thing that could happen to them when they look good. Lesser grades turn into A's, girls take notice, even a mother's hug gets a little tighter. Everyone notices. A fresh cut makes boys fly. This rhythmic read aloud title is a celebration of the way boys feel when they leave the barber's chair. All right, entry number six on this list is a little special because it is a series and not a singular book. It is Ruby in the Booker Boy series by Derek Barnes. The books include Brand New School, Brave New Ruby, Trivia Queen, Third Grade Supreme, Slumber Party Payback, and Ruby Flips for Attention. Brought to you by Newberry Honor author Derek Barnes, eight-year-old Ruby Booker is the baby sis of Marcellus, 11, Roosevelt, 10, and Tyner, 9, the most popular boys on Chillbrook Avenue. When Ruby isn't hanging with her friend Teresa Petticoat, she's finding out what kind of mischief her brothers are getting into. She's sweet and sassy and every bit as tough as her older siblings. She sings like nobody's business, she has a pet iguana named Lady Love, her favorite color is grape jelly purple, and when she grows up, she's going to be the most famous woman animal doctor on the planet. She's the fabulous, oh so spectacular, Ruby Marigold Booker. Also, as a special note, I also wanna mention that Derek Barnes has a new book called I Am Every Good Thing, releasing in September of this year. So keep an eye out for that as well. Entry number seven on this list is Don't Touch My Hair by Cherie Miller. 
an entertaining picture book that teaches the importance of asking for permission first as a young girl attempts to escape the curious hands that want to touch her hair. It seems that wherever Arya goes, someone wants to touch her hair. In the street, strangers reach for her fluffy curls. And even under the sea, in the jungle, and in space, she's chased by a mermaid, monkeys, and poked by aliens until finally Arya has had enough. Author-illustrator Cherie Miller takes the tradition of appreciation of black hair to a new, fresh level as she doesn't seek to convince or remind young readers that their curls are beautiful. She simply acknowledges black beauty while telling a fun, imaginative story. All right, book number eight is Your Name is a Song by Jamila Tompkins Bigelow. Frustrated by a day full of teachers and classmates mispronouncing her beautiful name, a little girl tells her mother she never wants to come back to school. In response, the girl's mother teaches her about the musicality of African, Asian, Black American, Latinx, and Middle Eastern names on their lyrical walk home through the city. Empowered by this newfound understanding, the young girl is ready to return the next day to share her knowledge with her class. Your Name is a song as a celebration to remind all of us about the beauty, history, and magic behind names. All right, entry number nine on this list holds a special place in my heart because this is the book that really got me into reading when I was a kid, and that book is The Skin I'm In by Sharon G. Flake. Malika suffers every day from the taunts of the other kids in her class. If they're not getting at her about her homemade clothes or her good grades, it's about her dark black skin. When a new teacher, whose face is blotched with a startling white patch, starts at their school, Malika can see there is bound to be trouble for her too. But the new teacher's attitude surprises Malika. Miss Saunders loves the skin she's in. Can Malika learn to do the same? I can personally vouch that this book is amazing and definitely worth picking up if you have a young teenager in the house or a preteen. All right, the last book on this list is A Girl Like Me by Angela Johnson. Once I dreamed I swam the ocean and saw everything deep, cool, and was part of the waves. I swam on by the people, on shore, hollering. A girl like you needs to stay out the water and be dry like everyone else. Empower young readers to embrace their individuality, reject societal limitations, and follow their dreams. This inspiring picture book brings together a poem by acclaimed author Angela Johnson and Nina Cruz's distinctive photo collage illustrations to celebrate girls of color. There are more books that I wanted to add to this list, but in the interest of being concise, I will add these as honorable mentions. Prince and His Mother's Crown, Tells Within My Mother's Hair by Shalise Bihare, Going Down Home with Daddy by Kelly Starling Lyons, The World is Locked Up, A Kid on a Quest to Find the Key to the World by Almeida Coulter, Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep by Dare Coulter. There are links to everything, the books I mentioned, as well as resources where you can find an entire list of children's books written by Black authors down in the description box below. These are just a few books, but remember that you cannot be passive in supporting Black authors. You have to be vigilant. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I will leave links to where you can purchase my book, Keeping Promises, and follow me, C.M. Lockhart, and my company, Written in Melanin Publishing, on social media. If you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notifications. There are new videos on the channel every week. If you love books by Black authors, consider supporting us through Patreon. Every penny goes to supporting Black authors and bringing more of their books to the masses. You also get access to writing resources, exclusive content, entry into book giveaways, and more. There's a link in the description box below if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time. I hope your days are lovely and your books are interesting. Bye!